Applique is sewing one fabric to another. So I've pinned this fabric, the flannel that I've interfaced, on top of the fleece and I've made sure the pins are on the inside so they won't get in the way of the sewing. I'm going to start at the bottom at a straight side. I've put a clear foot on. I'm going to switch my tension at the top from 4 down to 3 so it's a little less tension. I'm going to switch my pattern dial from A1 to A3. Stitch width I'm going to switch to 5 and stitch length I'm going to switch to 1. So you've got to change those five things on your machine before you applique. Then you line up the edge, inside edge of the foot by the edge of the flannel. Put the foot down, needle down, and you're basically going to do a tight zigzag right on the edge of the flannel. Now I'm going to come back to where I started so I didn't bother reversing at the beginning. I'll reverse at the end only. When you get to the edge, You'll stop, needle in, foot up, and pivot. Make sure when you put the foot down that again the flannel is at the inside edge of the foot. And then you'll just continue. Every now and then you have to stop, lift the foot, and smooth the fabric. Now the straight sides aren't very difficult. What's a little more challenging is the curves, which I'm approaching. So you slow down a bit. And no matter what the shape, you have to keep the inside edge of the foot by the fabric. So it's a little awkward now and whenever it does feel that way, make sure you lift the foot, keep the needle in and do a pivot. So you do a lot of pivoting on curves. Whenever it feels awkward, needle in, foot up and do a pivot. So you'll do that quite a bit as you get around the small curve. And you'll continue in this manner until you go back to where you started and then you'll do just a small two to three stitch reverse and then you'll take out the pins and you'll go to the steamer and press it flat on the wrong side only. That will flatten the uh, applique that you just sewed but never on the good side. And if for any reason if you feel like it looks uneven you can always sew over, over it a second time even a third time. It'll make the stitching darker and look more even.